So this one is called The World in Her Eyes. And this is the one where I sort of feel like you could just like slide <laughs> on the drawing and, and just enter the world. Yeah, for those people who don't have the opportunity to see the exhibition, this is a very large drawing. Um, it's one of my favorite drawings. I just absolutely adore it. Uh, everything about it to me is right. Um, starting with her pink parka at the bottom, just to ground the drawing. Um, the world in her eyes, um, we must keep in mind that these titles are not given by the artists. Um, they're usually titled by the co-op and sent south and they're usually descriptive titles. So, uh, you know, a quick lesson in Inuit art for people, um, don't try to interpret too much into the title. Um, but um, I don't know who the her is, but I know the eyes are globes. So again, we see this globe uh, motif that, that she ran with for quite a while. And so we start with her face. Um, her left ear is a swan and you can see um, the swan's wing is just touching the corner of the eye and it curls around its head and forms the shape of an ear. And resting on top of that swan is a walrus. Um, and the hair, so to speak, or hat, suppose, is a polar bear. Polar bears do have a yellowish tinge, so it's probably why the polar bear was done in that color. Uh, and then there's a serpent that winds its way, again, connecting all of these figures together um, that wraps its way from the bottom left around the top, ending on her hair at the top right and his fangs are grabbing yet another globe and his body also has globes all throughout the body as well and just to to kind of finish off is this wonderful hair that is every color of hair um you know you have brown you have blonde you have red you have black you have gray you have white um and it's just spectacular the way the colors and the movement um, just extend out to the end at the far right of the drawing, which has tiny little globes at the end of every strand of, or not every strand, but many strands of hair. And I find even just looking at the hair, if you were to block that part of the drawing off, you would have a spectacular drawing in and of itself. So again, a very, um, you know, creative, fanciful, uh, beautiful, happy picture that brings in, you know, things that are indigenous to her life, the animals. Um, it is a white woman. Uh, so, you know, Shubhanai does not live in a world where it seems, uh, color as evidenced also in the hair um, really matters often it's it's a mix of everything in her world you know it's a mix of animals and people and people of all different kinds and people embracing uh, the world and you know very uh, lovely lovely picture <laughs>